Mwili wa aliyekuwa afisa mkuu mtendaji wa kampuni ya mawasiliano ya Safaricom Bob Kulimo hatimaye umechomwa kwenye makaburi ya Wahindi ya Kariako. Mwili huo ulikuwa umehifadhiwa katika hifadhi ya maiti ya Liu ulisafirishwa hadi eneo la Kariako. Mwili huo ulichomwa kwenye hafla ya kibinafsi iliyowaleta pamoja rafiki wa karibu wa Bob Kulimo sawa na familia yake huku ombolezaji ambao hawakuwa kwenye orodha ya kuhudhuria mazishi yao kizuiliwa kuingia ndani hata hivyo inatarajiwa kuwa baada ya kuchomwa kwa mwili huo majivu basi atakabidhiwa kwa familia yake Bob Kulimo kwa ajili ya mazishi Kulimo aliaga dunia hapo Jumatatu tarehe mosi baada ya kugua kutokana na saratani ya damu al maarufu lukemia kwa lugha ya Kiingereza funeral home uh, there for us. Those are also pictures of uh, Michael Joseph who was taken over at Safaricom at least in the interim as uh, they look for a permanent replacement for Bob Colimo. He is uh, the former CEO of that company having served uh, until 2010 when he left the company, early 2000 to 2010 when he left the company in the hands of Bob Colimo. He's also a member of the board. Let's come back to our discussion this morning, the state of the nation. And we were talking about the state of the economy. Um, many people, uh, David, you're making a point there that uh, the, the, the global economy is struggling. And, and that might be uh, a reason.
really follow his footsteps. Exactly. These are very exactly. great men mm -hmm. who we've lost. And I, I, think, I think the lessons mm -hmm. that uh, he leaves behind are actually massive, very massive great, lessons. very great um, examples. And I think these are things we need to be talking yeah. about, you know, in months and years to come. From the testimonies we've heard from everyone who's spoken <coughs> about him, right. you know, good things to say. You, he had this incredible charm about him. Oh, and, yes. You know, oh, yes. He, he, he was fun to hang around mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I think I also interviewed him when I was still a sports journalist. I ah. graduated, you uh -huh. know, uh, because <laughs> Safaricom invested heavily yeah. in sports in the totally, country. Totally. And you could tell from the conversations his level of integrity. Totally. You know, uh, totally. Absolutely. He, he had no problem cancelling a sponsorship if he felt the money was not being spent in and the right he did. manner. You and know? he and did, he actually. Canceled. Rugby yes. suffered football. Yes. 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 He said, you know what, I'm not going to give my shareholders money to people who are just exactly. embezzling the whole exactly. thing, left, right, exactly. and center. So integrity for him was key. Mm -hmm. And uh, he did play a big part in developing um, not only the employment profile of the country in terms totally. of what, what M-Pesa has done and, 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 and all of that. Mm. Uh, and uh, yeah, as uh, he takes a final bow, we can only say may his soul rest in peace. There are also security part of that nice. uh, team that is there to elect the body of uh, Bob Colimo. I think uh, it are pissed out of the place eh? <laughs> because uh, those shots do tell something, uh, you know, and I think it's, I think it's about time that uh, they're going to be taking the body, I think, and yeah. they do not want us to take uh, live pictures of that because they had said it's going to be a private uh, ceremony when his remains are interred. So uh, I think that's what's happening. <laughs> the way that camera is held, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and you know, and you know, to be to be fair, <laughs> yes. I mean, uh, Bob Collimo, the late, you know, and it actually sounds quite, <laughs> and, you know, yeah. another looks calling him the late, but that's, that's just a fact. Uh, he lived in the he lived in the light. Mm -hmm. He was. On the limelight half of the time mm -hmm. and, I, and I think when the family now decides you know for him to be you know buried privately we all the, the best we can do is to actually respect, respect those wishes and I think you know that that could actually be part mm -hmm. of what we can we you know we can give back to yeah. Bob Colimo and the family so mm -hmm. at this point I think we just allow the family to mourn him the best exactly. way they know how yeah, yeah. and everybody you know takes a back seat of mm -hmm. course you know after his uh, internment I, I know that somebody I had uh, the chairman of uh, Safaricom Mr. Nana saying that uh, sometime this week, yes. then there will be there will be a ceremony for you yes. know people to mm -hmm. look back and celebrate his life, which I think many people I can guarantee many people will show up. Right. But you know, not not to take the flair from what uh, you know Bob Colima believed in, and I'm glad that you've mentioned how you know he couldn't hesitate taking away sponsorship away from you know uh, places he thought you know accountability was wasn't was not practiced. Mm -hmm. You know, he reminds me of uh, Warren Buffett, who you know uh, <laughs> moves by the same uh, paradigm shift. He mm -hmm. says, I don't give my money to the poor or the rich. I give my money to the deserving. Mm -hmm. So I think that is also a mantra I think we should be cutting yeah. across. Just okay. because you say you don't have money and mm -hmm. you you know you have money but mm -hmm. you're not deserving, it should not be, you know, it should not be coming to you if you're not deserving. So these are some of the great things that we should be learning from these guys. I mean, he was a man of means, but look at how yes. he lived. He lived a very proper, well accountable kind of life. And you know, we should these are some of the things that we should be amplifying to, to, to the youth of this country. In a documentary yesterday celebrating his life uh, aired on NTV, uh, Larry Mado, a great friend of his, yes. uh, says that uh, he shaved his own head, you know, yeah. <laughs> because he wanted to save money. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. You know, when you leave, uh, and, and I think Gabriel has lived in the U.S., I lived in the yeah. U.K. for a while. When you, live in those, when you live in those contexts, it's practice. Right. Because the cost of shaving your head <laughs> in, in the U.K. is about... 20 to 100 pounds, depending on where you do it. So if yeah. it's 100 pounds, that's about 15,000 Kenyan shillings. Mm -hmm. So as a student, we, you know, the first thing you do, the machine yeah. for shaving your hair is eight pounds. Yeah. The cost of shaving your head <laughs> is, 50, is, is 20 to 100 pounds. You just get your machine. I, I still have mine in the house. But when no, you I came back to Kenya, it's only 200 shillings, 100 bob. I also do have mine. And then you, you have to book an appointment yes. Yes. to go get a shave. So <laughs> you, 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 hustle, you'd right? rather you'd rather put away that hustle All right. you know, and do that machine like this. You have taken me back. To, I, I did my master's in Liverpool as well. <laughs> and Luciani is very right. 
For two and a half years, I never had my head shaved. You had a fro? Oh, oh, if I show you my pictures, I almost had <laughs> dreadlocks. I, I had almost dreadlocks by graduation day, you know. And, you know, it's because you look at I do I really need to spend this? This Actually, this, this is the cost of my... 15,000 shillings, that's a lot yeah, of money Yeah, so... Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of uh, that's, right. that's a good place to, that's a good place to go. I had also almost yeah. forgotten. Okay, gentlemen, let's, uh, let's go back to our discussion of the day, uh, State of the Nation. And uh, one of the other things that we've seen happening you know, is the issue of uh, the, the, the stalemate within, and even before we go to